If your home still looks like wintertime on the inside, we have some ideas to lighten things up. Molly Simmons from Design Lines is here, and I'm so glad you are here because I need some help. Thank you. <laughs> Let's start with the difference that a brightly colored throw can make in the living room. Okay. Um, sometimes people have a throw just to warm up with in the winter on their mm -hmm. sofa or to cozy up with, and perhaps it's in a nice neutral. And if you just remove that and swap it out for something that's a little bit more brightly colored, because a lot oh, of times yeah. you still like to get under a blanket at night, but you can spruce it up for the spring color. This is so pretty and bright. It is bright. <laughs> and of course, we spend a lot of time at the table, so we should have something nice and springy there too, shouldn't we? Yes, we should. Um, a lot the centerpiece can sometimes be a permanent piece that people leave on the table for a couple of months at a time. Um, but it's time to change that out and put the new fresh pieces on there. And This is so either, pretty. Tell me about it. Well, that has fresh cut flowers in the centerpiece and a, a little bit of um, arrangement around the base of it, which could come or go. But you could still add name tags or you know, use it for different dinner parties or just to keep on there for day to day. Well, that is just lovely. I've never thought about changing out my picture frames. Well, uh, you may have a grouping on a side table beside the sofa or, mm -hmm. or you know, on the piano or somewhere. You can even just take one of the picture frames and put in something a little bit more brightly colored. Uh, even change out the photograph, you know. Um, we put it, took out uh, uh, some type of a picture and put a puppy in there just to show a new little springy piece. That is such a nice touch. Now, the place where I've fallen short is with my doormat. <laughs> I hardly ever use my front door. I use the garage, and I realized the other day, oh my lord, I still got the Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> mat out there. So, this is a good example. Yes, that happens. The postman uh, gets to enjoy your Christmas <laughs> mat for longer than anybody else. Yeah. But, um, this is just, you know, take out the old and put in uh, so many places around town have great new springy doormats, especially with Easter coming up. There's tons of things to choose from. I probably could have picked up 50 different spring doormats, yeah. but that one just nice and fresh with the bird on it. Now, not only does the doormat set the tone for what's inside, the wreath on the door does as well. Yes, um, and that's not something people think about. They think about a wreath more in the fall and it, um, the holiday time. But there's so many really beautiful Christmas, I mean, spring wreaths that are out that mm -hmm. are you know either dried or hydrangea or eggs or things that are, you know, spring uh, grapevine type mm -hmm. things in them. Mm -hmm. so. I've seen them in all kinds of stores. Yes. And you, a, a nice paint would also brighten up a room, wouldn't it? Yeah, paint is not a permanent thing, so it doesn't take long to just either tweak the color that's there. Um, it just, you, know, you can there's choose. There's so many colors, there's so to, many choose colors to choose from. And it can make a pretty quick change, and you may not have to change anything else in the room other than just your wall color. And tell me about this. You know, of course, we spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Yes. Um, same thing with kind of like the throw. You can take the the dish rags or dish towels that are hanging in the in the kitchen or on display and just swap them out for something that's a little bit springier and put the others in the drawer for a few months. And fragrance, you brought some lovely fragrance in here. Yes, um, not everybody uses home fragrances. Mm -hmm. um, I like them and there's some really beautiful uh, Christmas time pieces, but this one is more of a thyme and mint that just you know, you can spritz it around and it just, your, then your house smells springy too. And here's another le leftover from Christmas time, Correct, the yeah. red candle. Yeah, and it's just, you know, an easy little, um, that doesn't get any easier than that, just to, <laughs> to make it into a different look in the room. It certainly did work. And I love this pillow too. This certainly screams spring. It does. Um, you could take, you know, again, kind of like the throw, take the older pillows off put them in the attic and mm -hmm. put this on the sofa as you know if your sofa has a flexible fabric on it that you could easily change out to something like that and it just changes the look. Now I haven't one of your tips was to change the lining paper in the drawer. Yeah. Never even <laughs> occurred to me. I just did it last week in my kitchen. Really? It's like wow. Yeah it's just you know when you for your dishes and your silverware and everything and I just I pulled out the old and put in some new and it just you open the drawer. I mean how many times do you go in your drawer every day <laughs> and yeah. it's just a nice kind of a surprise for you and you're the only one that enjoys it but it is Nice. And they make scented paper? Yes, they do. Yeah. Really? Sometimes people put, <laughs> put in their drawers with their clothes rather than with their dishes and their silverware. Oh, you okay. can do both. <laughs> I've seen that. You all, of course, help people to make these changes in their homes. Yes. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Molly, thank you so much. You're so welcome. And we'll have information about design lines on our website, mycarolinatoday.com.